Okay, so if you're an undisputed player who just plays online right now, you might not know about fouls and getting disqualified in undisputed, as these are currently locked to offline modes. Or maybe you play offline and don't know how to foul. So in this video, I'm going to show the ways that you can foul and get disqualified in undisputed. So the first two fouls will be familiar if you've played the Fight Night series, as these were the two fouls you could do in those games. You can headbutt and hit low blow shots. To do a headbutt, you simply have to press the D-pad down and your boxer will start headbutting your opponent. To do the low blow, you have to hold the L1 or LB button if you're using an Xbox or PlayStation controller, and also hold down the down button on the D-pad at the same time. And then you'll start hitting low shots. After hitting too many illegal blows, there will be a break in the action, and you'll see this scene of a point being deducted. The referee has seen enough. He's called a halt to the action and will deduct the point. About time, man. If you continue to keep hitting illegal shots, you'll eventually get disqualified and you'll see this scene with the commentators reacting to the DQ. For a disqualification, really a shame that this fight had it in that way. Good work, ref. You know what? That takes a lot of bottle to do that, especially in such a big fight. The referee, hats off, great decision at the right time. There's also another way to foul in Undisputed that I don't remember seeing in the Fight Night series ever, and it's not an illegal blow. You can get point deductions for excessive clinching. Currently, it's only in offline modes, as clinching is not possible in online matches yet. It's a pretty cool detail to have. You'll even get warned by the commentary to not clinch too many more times, until eventually the ref will call a break in the action and will deduct a point. You can also get disqualified for this if you keep excessively clinching. I did also hear that you can get point deductions for hitting after the bell, but I couldn't manage to get that to trigger, so it could be possible that it's just not been added yet. Also, in the beta, my opponent got a point taken off for hitting me when I was down, so I'm unsure if this was just a glitch or if hitting down opponents will be a foul in Undisputed. I did try and get this to trigger, but it didn't happen. So yeah, this was just a little guide on fouls and disqualifications in Undisputed. So have fun cheating, you cheaters. Thanks for checking out the video, and I'll see you in the next one, because more Undisputed content is incoming.